Well, good afternoon, everyone. This is Joe, Ordinary Dad, Ordinary Gamer, coming at you with another video. Um, you know, I was organizing my website recently, and I noticed there was a distinct dearth of uh, roguelike deck building games uh, or card games where you start over each time. So I decided to make a couple more roguelike deck building game videos. And so, um, you know, the quintessential game in the franchise or the genre would be Slay the Spire, which kind of introduced the concept. Um, but, you know, even Hearthstone has had build as you go uh, modes where you are constantly building your deck. And in fact, it goes back even to, to Magic the Gathering, where you'd have tournaments where you'd get all new cards and have to build your deck on the fly. And what you placed in your deck not only dramatically impacted your chance of victory, but also would impact how you interact with the rest of the tournament or in this case game so this is a uh, another deck building game which is very similar to um, um, Slay the Spire and you'll see the similarities instantly so um, it's got kind of a an art motif that's kind of like it's got the hand-drawn darkest dungeon um, kind of cardboard cutout if you will techniques where you have uh, cartoony, more than realistic uh, drawings of uh, characters um, interacting with, you know, cartoony um, um, uh, monsters and, and uh, NPCs. In, in my mind, um, I like the hand-drawn style. I like the, I, I'm totally fine with the Darkest Dungeon single frame stuff um, that can be replaced with, you know, mods. Um, I'd rather have it more like dark realistic than cartoony personally um, So this is, this is not quite my uh, jam, but um, um, It's still it's it's still pleasant enough. So you have four starting characters um, The vague plot which um, You know, we'll show you the cutscenes is that these four characters have opened a Pandora's like box um, which has granted them immortality and powers, but also kind of eternal suffering and being cursed. So they're trying to get the cards literally back into the box and close the box uh, so that they can finally be at peace and die. Um, so each of those, each of these characters' personality responds differently to the cursed blessing of living forever and tormenting the earth. Some of them are. Um, more interested in, in utilizing their power to uh, actually uh, suppress the townsfolk, and some are just trying to trying to finish it off. So we're going to start as Lucia. This is I initially played this game in early access, and I think the full version's out now. Um, but Lucia was the first playable character, so she's the one I'm, I'm most familiar with. And I've, I've mentioned it before on my Slay the Spire video, but um, most of these characters are not fun to play. Um, they do play differently. They do play with their own style. Um, by far and away, I think the, the the most interesting card mechanic and battle mechanic character is Lucia because she is so active with her discard pile or her graveyard or whatever you want to call it. So for her. Uh, and the gimmick of this game, Deck of Ashes, your Ash Pile or your Discard Pile is actually in play. So it's actually, a lot of the cards do more if they're in your Discard Deck than if they're in your regular deck. And I don't go through that at all. So we're going to set this to uh, Martyr, um, which is basically the harsh setting uh, that I know of. And then you can see all this, the skins she's got. So you can see the Darkest Dungeon reference. Um, you can see you know some of the other skins that have been handed out at holidays or whatever else. I've only played this game like 10-15 hours, so I have like 5 or 6 runs in. Uh, maybe maybe more like 10. Um, but um, certainly not an expert at this game. Um, and the chance that I get blown up is, is pretty high actually. So let's go here. Start a new game. So we have two modes. You can start with a standard deck, uh, which is balanced, or you can go to draft mode. We'll, we'll take draft mode. Um, and as I said before, um, you know, we have 10 cards that we get to pick for our starting deck. And this will determine how good your deck is. Our deck is based around discarding cards. Um, so we want cards that can discard cards like Cinder Ring. So Cinder Ring is okay. These other two, um, you have two problems with this deck. So if built correctly, you know, the deck that I'm trying to build 
basically runs itself through its discard deck. Um, so you have to make sure all your cards remain discard where they function, uh, but also in the beginning of the game you have to have cards that will, will kill the folks you're playing. So this is an example of one of the cards uh, that's more useful in your discard deck. So if this is in your discard pile, every time a card's discarded, you restore three health. Now, if 10 of those are in your discard pile, every time a card's discarded, you just you return 30 health. And so if you have cards that, you know, like this card discards cards or some cards discard your entire hand, you end up discarding five, six, 10 cards, then you're getting 300 health back a turn. Um, so these scrolls are gonna be the backbone of our deck, things that are active when they're in our discard pile. Um, but we do have to have before, and here's another one. So this one um, deals five damage every time a card's discarded. So also very helpful in our deck. But we do have to be able to get through the initial uh, phase. And, and for this deck build, this is kind of an end game deck build. There's four acts to this, much like Slay the Spire has its four, four levels. Um, we have to be able to get through Act 1. Act 1 is the, is the tough point for this deck. And so we have to have enough to actually get through Act 1. So this is um, the big, one of the other big differences that you'll see here is that there's almost no shielding in this game. And so a lot of the mechanics goes around healing and not shielding. So restoring 10 health points is pretty good for surviving, giving sustain in Act 1. This is an interesting card. So it does discard cards, but they're random. It does renew cards that are random. Renew means take out your discard pile. So our deck actually gets worse if you take cards out of the discard pile. So that's no good for us. So all three of these cards are bad for us. Um, given the choice, I will take this one. Here's another uh, heal you when it's in your discard deck card. So that's amazing. Here's another one. It's really good. Um, this is our bread and butter damage dealing card. So this is five damage oh. uh, and applies three burns, which are dots. So damage over time. So this is also outstanding. Um, so um, pretty good starting deck so far. If we get a lesser sacrifice, we're good. So we got another uh, scroll of energy, which is fine. So these are all good. Um, and then, you know, these last three... Um, uh, you can burn them. Burning is fine. It's damage over time. We have pretty good sustain with our Scrolls of Energy and our Champion's Pauldron, so five of our 11 cards are sustain. Um, do more damage. So probably we're going to have to burn our way through the first couple of battles, which is unfortunate. So here's the plot. Since the dawn of time, people with the and again, hand-drawn art style love hand-drawn stuff you know everything from smooth animation hand-drawn like hollow knight to darkest dungeon stills um but um i'm just not the the art everything everybody's like a little cartoony corrupted so she's a witch her fiance kills her or tries to kill her she uh becomes a fire witch the simple folk blamed the mages. The witch hunt ensued, and a week hadn't passed before I ended up at the stake. I Open Pandora's box. Cheerful cries of peasants, but those turned into screams of terror as I suddenly rose from the ashes. And she can't die. So this is the double standard, right? She can't die, but she's always the curse gave me power. At pain. So she's in constant pain, like she's being burned. The prophet, he found me on his own. He assures that Lady Death can rid me of pain. If this is true, I will make her do that. He asks me to kill Lady Death, and he says that it will break the curse. So the prophet is our protagonist, or our, our Jedi support character. He's going to guide us through the way. We're going after Lady Death, the Forcer, to kill us. To remove the pain, or just remove the pain and keep torment. us immortal. But if regaining my peace means ridding them from the curse as well, screw it. All right. So we've arrived. 
you have a bunch of choices for your first place and we are in a we're in a foresty first place so a couple things this is the main town and you have four npcs the npcs all require I, honest to god i need another cinder ring i don't want to buy this but i kind of need it the npcs all require um well let's go through the screen so this is the merchant npc so you can buy cards here he resets every day i think there's five days there's five to ten days in every section so you get three rounds of stuff for him you can also sell recipes you're not using um this is not good for us we're going to be keeping low deck count so we're going to sell that this is also not good we're not doing a pyro bomb build chain reaction we're not doing that so um this is one of his most important features so these currencies goblets chalices herbs and ore are what are used for upgrading each of the characters upgrades so the merchant gives you increased rest points increased card selection from a store and improved exchange rate so improved exchange rate is literally the most important thing so right now i can trade two to one for any resource to get another resource to upgrade any of the npcs however if I spend four chalices for the rest of the turn, it's one to one. So it's literally becomes how many resources do you have and you can exchange anything one to one. So this is a priority for getting upgraded to one to one. Um, the profit um, helps you balance your deck in your graveyard, your deck in your discard pile, excuse me. Forgive the, in my deck building games, I have a huge like history in Magic the Gathering, so I'm gonna be calling it Graveyard and some other stuff. Um, so you can either take cards out of your graveyard with renewing, or you can burn cards, put them in your graveyard by paying to have them burned. So that's what the Prophet does. And then his upgrades, Meditation is a high priority upgrade that allows you to get extra card draws after the end of each battle. And then improved card restoration um, is complex and totally not worth it. Eye of the Storm is another mechanic that I almost never use. Um, very low prio for me for upgrade. Um, it's simply um, uh, random uh, card draws on the map that appear every once in a while. But with meditation, you can get three to five card draws each battle. So it becomes a moot point for card draws on the map. So that's what the Prophet does. The Blacksmith is also super important. He makes your new cards, and then he has... This is new since release, so I haven't experimented with this much, but he can upgrade some of your base cards. So for all the base deck cards, um, he can upgrade them. And the upgrades can be significantly change how the cards actually play. So in this case, if I upgrade this Ash Pact, um, it allows me to choose cards to bring out of my graveyard, which is super important. So that's a really important uh, prior. And then the last prior that's really important for me is getting traits. His upgrades are traits, teleportation stones, and, and dis, dis, uh, disassembling cards and getting more stuff from treasure chests. Um, but the traits um, are high prior to the sacrificial chalice is will work synergistically with the deck. I'll explain how that works once I get there, assuming I don't get totally owned. And then the druid or herbis, or enchantress, something, whatever, um, does healing stuff. So her upgrades are buying stat items. You can buy a set of items each day um, and then improved healing. Um, ailments, not really a problem for this deck. It's a discard deck, so we don't care about this middle tier pathway of wound healing. So in terms of how the game plays... Um, So I'm going to check my deck. So what I'm trying to figure out is, can I afford to up? So the only thing I have to discard cards is Cinder Ring right now. So that's pretty inefficient. So I think I have to buy another Cinder Ring. Um, I was trying to figure out if I could afford to get the early upgrade of the Ash Pact, but I don't think I can afford to, to wait. So I'm going to buy the Cinder Ring, and I'm going to craft it, and I'm going to use... The currency, so the last two currencies, gold is obviously buying stuff from the camp, and then ash is your currency for making your cards. So what I wanted to do is I wanted to renew this and make this uh, 
the upgraded form of this ash pack and this card comes in when you when you have no other cards to play in this game um, each battle once you play the cards you have to you don't start drawing again once you reach the bottom of your deck your, of your deck you actually have to use some cards to put the cards back in play from your discard pile and the default to that is if you run out of cards you can spend 20 hit points to renew five random cards renewing five cards of choice is way better than random cards however um um we can't afford it right now so we're gonna have to play a little rng because we need to get another source of discharge so we're gonna craft this and here we go this is the second part of this game which is way different than slay the spire so you have a map um and on the map you have basically four different or five different uh node points so all of these will respawn events so whichever direction you go um, these events will all respawn. These dungeons are the most important thing. So the dungeon is like twice the size of the map and has twice as many resources. So this single dungeon by itself is more important than the whole rest of the map. I say that because there is a soft, you have this timer up here, which is a soft enrage mechanic where the boss is going to fight you after a certain number of turns. And twice in those number of turns, he will actually destroy parts of the map. So on as the day three and like day six or something, he'll destroy parts of the map. So if he destroys the dungeon before you've gone there, then you've lost more than half the resources of the map. So the dungeon's an early high prior. For us, we want 20 ash to get that chalice upgraded. And we want, um, we also want, um, uh, We want four chalices to um, upgrade our merchant to get to the one-to-one -one transfer. So the nodes that you can go on, battles, chests, events, are these um, random like circle tiles, the dungeon, and then these are teleporter squares that takes you from here to here. The color dictates not only how far away from the center of the, the map you are but also the difficulty so yellow is a medium difficulty red is a high difficulty just um, so chest level one two and three uh, level one will give you common cards level two will give you rare cards and num or uncommon cards number three will give you uh, rare and number four will give you legendary uh, number four is only in the um, the dungeons um, battles, same thing. One's, uh, one sword versus two swords versus three swords. Difficulty of battles. All these events are crapshoots. And then you'll notice as I hover here, um, there is five things that tell you what happens in this area. And the most important thing is what resources you could find. So as I said, we're looking for chalices, not herbs. So when we, if we went to this area, we would not get any chalices. We get herbs. So. Your ideal move is moving to a place where you get chalices like here, and these are the town squares. So all these areas over here give chalices. Crystals are good too, initially. Um, and in your ideal place to get ash and everything else is going to be some early battles. So probably the best route for me is going to be trying to hit this, hope I get a key, and then come through this and farm chalices, swing back around to town, and then head straight for the dungeon if my deck is fleshed out a little bit so let's go through the basic uh, mechanics for fighting all right so here we go afraid of a spark. so we have um, this is our mana here or energy so we have five and you'll see the value on each of the cards in the top right corner so we can play five cards or five mana points this round so that's two twos and a one um, cinder ring we need to get our scroll of energy going so we're going to burn our scroll of energy here uh, we're gonna burn this one so we're sending that to our discard pile and then if we do um, we want to kill one of these rats so we only take eight damage rats are very consistent in their damage dealing so we can do this here and we can do this here so now they both have debuffs on them, 
So this one's getting two damage for five turns. This one's getting six damage for five turns. Um, so this one is going to die this round. This takes six points of damage. This one's going to hit me for eight. And then we will go to the next round. So now I get to balance my deck by cycling cards to the bottom of my deck. Phoenix Strike is pretty useless for me. So I'm going to cycle that down. <laughs> this is just a warm up. So now we can do Cinder Ring on this rat, and we're going to have to burn another card. So we're going to burn this one, and then we will gain a shield, so the rat won't hit us this turn. Now we can Phoenix fire the rat and we'll burn another one of our good cards, but we got one of our good cards back, so that was pretty useless. So I'm so this is the normal card cycling. So we will renew five random cards because I no longer have any way to deal damage to the rat and it's not gonna die from the burn, so I need more cards to damage it. Otherwise I'm just gonna constantly take eight damage around. So I'm gonna renew five cards at random. And you'll see I'm losing the buffs that I wanted to use. Uh, but that's okay. We're gonna we're gonna get, get this right down without too much difficulty. So we can we're gonna heal ten first because this game's all about sustain, and then we're gonna Cinder Ring and we're gonna burn this card. All right. So we got no keys, unfortunate. But we got 10 gold, 5 ash, just from killing a level 1 monster. So, now, we get to balance out our resources um, after each battle. And this is kind of the rest phase after the battle. And you have a certain number of points of things you can do. Each point will renew one common card, two points for one uncommon, three points for one rare, etc., etc. And then each point also gives you 10 hit points back. So, I can either choose to renew my cards, or I can choose to get hit points back. So, I need my cinders for sure. So, these need to be renewed. Um, and then, to max my hit points, I spend two. And then I'll need these two. Alright. So, that's our first battle. And again, it's a complex dance between... Two wrongs don't make a right. Uh, your discard pile and your draw. Everyone. So, we... I don't know why there's no background here, but we want to kill this guard first. He does a lot of damage, and this one um, is going to be buffing this guard, so we definitely want him dead. So we're going to burn him. We're going to Cinder Ring. We're going to discard our Scroll of Energy. Now that's giving me, every time I discard a card, I'm not going to get three life back. And then I'm going to Shield to block this five damage. I don't need to read return anything so he'll be dead next round I can cinder ring again to hit this guy and I can drop this scroll of energy and then I can burn him as well and I will phoenix power him as well to drop that and I got a burn back which is fine we like that and then I don't need to get anything at the bottom of the deck <laughs> this is just a warm-up. All right, so I have a couple choices. I have a burn, so this guy will eventually die to burn. All right, so he takes four damage a turn. Two turns, he's dead. Now, in that time, he's going to do about 20 damage to me. So is it better to do 20 damage to get random cards back? It's better to lose 20 hit points, or is it better to... Um, just let them burn down. So I will take one round of attacks. I'll take six to ten damage here. And then I will have I'll be two below my I'll need to spend two on health and I'll have four extra cards, so I'll be able to get four cards for free at the end. Which is probably sufficient to start off with, so I'm gonna do that. I don't know why is there a balloon here. What where are we? It's really strange. There's some some visual bug. Alright. So, I'm actually going to do this so I have more cards. I don't have enough cards to actually do this efficiently. Put it this way, it's a one-for-one -one exchange. Um, 
once I get to the rest phase. So I did 20 damage for 5 random cards instead of 5 cards back for 1 for 1. Unfortunately, the cards that I got back are horrible, so uh, that did not work out like I wanted to. Okay, now we gotta take out this girl. And she'll die in a couple of turns. Okay, I have nothing on my bow deck, so that's nothing but good for me. And now she's gonna die before she hits me with that temptation. There's our key. Good show. Alright. So now, I have to get those, at least 20 of those health back, so I will. One. Whoops, I got them all back. Okay. Well, that was a mistake. I didn't want to spend all that. I wanted to be able to get my purifier too. But, we got our standard ring going, so we'll be alright. So now I want to go here, get these chalices. Need those four chalices to get the exchange up. This one is caves. Might as well. One on one, not bad. Two wrongs don't make a right. Okay. I will revenge to everyone. So I'm going to use the strain now because I have max hit points. And then I'm going to discard this. I'm going to discard this, and I've already gotten nine hit points back from the strain, so that ain't bad. Don't quite have enough. Um, ten health versus six to ten, so it's better to take the health there than the shield. I can burn this guy up. And then I can discard one of these cards, which is what I want to do. And I gain health from discarding. And I got back my Cinder Ring, which is awesome. So I have my ideal deck composition here. Discard this. So everything that I want to be in my graveyard is currently in my graveyard. I'm max life. He's about to die. Great fight. <laughs> this is just a warm up. Just kidding. He's alive again. So now I have to take the hit, get something back to kill this guy. And this is how this deck starts a little awkward. Um, nothing I can do but take this hit. I think, believe my last card is a damaging card. Yeah, it's Phoenix Fire, which is fine. Do that. Got my Cinder Ring back, which is not bad. So now, did you follow all that? Now I need my Cinder Ring. My Purifier would be great to have too. And I want to get my health back up. So we'll do one, two, three. And then we'll do. Probably burn. I'm having trouble getting enough damage done. Alright. So right now, let's look at our goals. So, I do not have the 20 ash required for the upgrade of that card. Um, I do not have the four chalices. So, I can go here and get another chalice and more ash. So, that seems like the thing I should be doing. And I should open this chest because I can. It's a cinder ring. Not bad. We'll take that. Take the hook. The hook. All fish eggs cannot use shield. Not really a big deal. Let's mind that. Alright, so this should be putting us over the top for all of our initial goals. Alright, so we're going to do Pure Fire. We're going to Cinder Ring this. Uh, we need more damage. We're going to Cinder Ring that. that. And we are going to liquefy this. And we are going to get our random back. So we got back all of our healing stuff, which is really bad. So our um, 
sustain has gone to the toilet, but we will work on that right now. There we go. Gotta sustain back up a little bit more. Got a cinder ring back, so we need our other cinder ring. Uh, why would I? One, two. Okay. Um, definitely take this. This. Not even worth the squeeze for. Okay, so here's the first ash storm. So, deck draws and ten ash, as you see. So. Cindering actually isn't what I want for my deck draw or my deck discard. It's actually very inefficient. Um, so not really worth going back after. Meanwhile, here it's one of the places I can mine chalices. And then this is 10 ash here. So I need the chalices. I have the ash. I'm just going to finish this off like we initially discussed for our early game strat. And that's okay. So that went away. That goes they away after three turns. Even the beast can be afraid of a spark. So they say, even a beast can be afraid of a spark. Did you know that? In this game, it's true. Right. What are these crows doing here? Again, weird visual bug. Um, I can shield this. Sure. Turn anything because I do not have a choice in what I can do. So I can burn again and then burn that. It's kind of cheating. Burn that. Burn this. Get a sundering back. That's perfect. Alright. Not bad, not bad. Alright, so he has going to die from thing here, so there's no reason for me to do anything. Because I'm just going to waste time, energy, money, everything. There we go. Easy day. We will extract that. We will just go to this chest here. So, now I've lost that square permanently. If he had taken out the dungeon, I would have been in trouble. I would have lost a ton of resources on my first map, which could be game ending. Okay, Lesser Sacrifice. This is the card I'm looking for. This is a high, high priority card. Um, discards all the cards in your hand. Deals five damage for every card you discarded. With the cards in my discard pile that are hurting or healing, hurting enemies or healing me, this becomes a hugely important card to get rid of cards fast. So, extremely important. Now, we gotta do the things that we said were priorities for us. So, our priorities upgrade to our exchange rate. So now, we can exchange one to one. Um, and then... Now we have a choice. So we can either activate our Lesser Sacrifice for 20, or we can upgrade our Ash Pack for 20. Um, um, both of those are really good. We can almost buy our chalice. There's a lot of stuff we can do, actually. So, first of all, do we want to do increased rest points or do we want to do traits? I guess we want to do traits. We have a good sustained deck with the healing. So, traits gives us a card that's generated every turn that discards itself. So you automatically get the healing, you automatically get the damage. For us, that's 12 healing points a turn. It's great sustain for the early levels. Um, the... Uh, 
All right, apologies for the very short interlude. I am back. I do not have my jacket, but you know what? We're rolling with it. Let's see. So I was talking about how to spend my ash. I have limited ash. Ash is for cards. Is it better to get lesser sacrifice in play, or is it better to choose what I renew? Um, I think it's better to get less. Uh, choose what I renew. Oh, lack of lesser sacrifice is damage. Let's get lesser sacrifice in play. I'm going for it. Not sure what top of them there, but they're both they're both really good. All right, now get the upgrade for meditation versus the upgrade for rest sites versus the upgrade for traits. Can't use traits yet, so seems like meditation or rest is better. So I'm going to increase rest points actually. So we have to trade resources. I'm going to go herbs to goblets. I get four goblets. We're going to increase our rest points, so that'll be good. So now we'll be able to do more things after each battle. And I think it's dungeon time. Do we have enough sustain for dungeon? We will find out. Because I basically need ash. And there's not very much ash left. I do have I do have a key. No ash. This is five ash. And this is 10 ash, so I barely have enough. Um, seems pretty flimsy. I feel like I should just take the dungeon now while I can. No more suffering for you, aren't you lucky? All right, so now you guys get to appreciate the joy that is lesser sacrifice. So um, I can discard my entire hand at the same time. and heal myself up to full because each time I discard a card I get um, 32 mana back um, these actually discard more efficiently so I'm gonna do that let's do this and then this guy will die and then I can shield the Hydra attack pretty optimum and then I'll lesser sacrifice the Hydra next turn with these two cards seems pretty efficient <laughs> this is just a warm-up all right so now burn versus just lesser sacrificing everything five damage 15 damage plus 20 damage 35 damage should be a kill it is but I have two fish eggs to deal with so that is suboptimum so I am going to have to renew to kill these fish eggs. Are you serious? I lost all of my healing? That's great. Alright, so I am going to have to strain again. Restore health. Kill one of these fish eggs. Strain again. And I, again, have <laughs> nothing helpful that came out of that. All right, so this will do three here. If that one will die, this one will die. Okay, kind of a disaster round. Um, this one's gonna transform, I think. Wow, I made another made another fish egg. These are super annoying. This is a horrible round, so that guy's dead. Don't be upset. I'm in more pain than you. Don't want to renew any cards. I still don't want to renew any cards. I can't afford to. Alright. Well, it is what it is. That was a terrible round. I need this back. I need some sustain. I need some damage. And I need some health. Alright. Stabilized okay. 
Makes me think I need to upgrade my. I'm gonna I'm gonna upgrade my stream card before I get into the dungeon. So hot right now. Alright, so too hot for you. Pure fire is beautiful here. And then for every five increases its speed by one, so he's gonna be faster than me. In a second. So I think this is the play. And then I'll have to strain next turn. Alright, so I will have to strain. That is what that is. Did not get my lesser sacrifice, but still have two healings on the board. Alright, so I will do this, bury that, do this, bury that. Not bad. End at 70. Alright, so I need my lesser sacrifice. I need one health there. I need the cinder ring should be fine. Take my healing. It's my health at 77. It's kind of overkill. Alright. Alright, so Cut. Now we'll mine this and we're gonna go back to town. And we are going to oh okay, Ash Storm. Anything good from this Ash Storm? What do we got? Alright, alright. Okay, that's really good. That's okay. We gotta go back for this scroll. Alright, now we will... Gotta get into that dungeon. So to get in that dungeon, we're going to... Um, card upgrade this. Do five of my choice. That's great, and I cannot upgrade anymore. Oh, I can do this. I can do traits. Now, do I have enough to sell to get to one? No. 150, almost, but not quite. However, I can get meditation, which may come in handy. Okay, so we can start card cycling or draws there. So I will actually get meditation now while I can. Then I have to get into that before I lose the um Oh no, I can't, I bought traits. Alright, well, that's that. Destroy it here. You didn't destroy the dungeon. We're in good shape. My fire will carry you to the afterlife. All right, so we are shielding this. Firing him and then waiting. Now we can lesser sacrifice, and you can see the synergy. So I can renew five of my choice. I'm going to because it's going to cost me more. next round. It's going to cost me more afterwards. Co cost me um, uh, 50 instead of 30. So I will renew this and I will um, rest. Now, time actually doesn't pass when you're in the dungeon, which is nice. Alright, what do we got in the Ash Storms? We 
we got ash. Nothing, nothing, nothing. So, I'm going to open this chest. Okay, nothing. Cinder rings. I shouldn't need with the lesser sacrifice now. Take that. How am I get in this dungeon? Let's go. Okay, so, time stands still when you're in the dungeon, which is awesome. You can cycle the merchants, but nothing else moves, so that ash storm even should still be there when I come out. Alright, so... First battle. Two wrongs don't make a right. I will revenge to everyone. This seems fun. Okay, so he's gonna hit me for twelve. So I can champion's pauldron shield. And I can sacrifice all this stuff. And I'm back to full health. And then I'm going to strain this, and I'm going to get back Champion's Pauldron, Lesser Sacrifice, Cinder, Cinder, Pure Fire. And we will... He's restoring himself. It's curious. Let's see how this turns out. But I'm also been restored, so, you know. Three damage. That's not anything interesting. We both have um, great sustain. <laughs> We're sustaining against each other here. Sustain battle for the ages. That's what everybody wants to see. Now, I can actually kill him without lesser sacrificing, which is more efficient use of cards. And I can heal... So I will heal, Cinder Ring, discard my other Cinder Ring, get all my health back, kill him, and then health, Cinder Ring, Cinder Ring, Phoenix, everything, get, okay, so, see the whole game of the sustain, or the whole goal is to end with the cards you want in your deck, the cards you want in your discard, and your health at max. That's your goal at the end of each battle. Altars can be really good, they can be really bad. That one was okay. They say that even a beast can be afraid of a spark. Mm -hmm, mm -hmm. Wow. A level 3 rat is super weak. Um, I'm actually going to burn this guy up first. And then we will wait on that. Taking 8 damage for 5 turns. That's pretty good. Now I can just... That's This should be, this should be lethal. Get all my health back. Good to go. And just go right down. Get my burns. Very stable dungeon run here. Let's go back and check this corner. Hmm. Nice dodge chance. My fire will carry you to yeah. the afterlife. These guys are annoying. So what's the play here? So this guy's hitting me for eight. And won't let me return cards next turn, which doesn't really matter. This guy is reducing my mana by two, which also doesn't matter too much. So neither of those are particularly interesting. At the start of Shadow's turn, player draws two cards. Hmm. So, draw two less cards, but I'm drawing two extra cards. That's very odd, but okay. Uh, this is going to be the play. Alright. So we're going to throw out this. This guy's dead. Burn this guy. Make an ash pact. Get our lesser sacrifice, cinder ring, everything back. 
Um, probably won't need to use Lesser Sacrifice to kill this guy. Probably can do it with a Cinder Ring and keep some cards for the draw. Don't be upset. I'm go. in more pain than you. So, pretty low. I guess they just use Lesser Sacrifice to heal up, right? So each Cinder Ring is going to be 12. So if this is 6, then that's going to be... That should be max. Let's go. Yeah, just heal up. Do it that way. We can still take everything. Mm -hmm. So right now we're balancing our graveyard and our... Hmm. That's nice. Uh, yeah. We'll take that. Straight up eight healing. Hmm. Should use that in that <laughs> fish egg battle I was having trouble with. Alright, so. Let's go explore the rest of this. Sporehead. Seems sus. I do think I'm going to do this slow, though. I'm going to shield this. Alright, and then I can lesser sacrifice all of this. I mean, he's almost dead. He dies this turn. Use 30 to get 5 back, so I will. 1, 2, 3, 4, 5. And then that. And this. trap. So that's the boss the dungeon. Oh wow. I have super high dodge right now. It's fortuitous for the boss fight. Probably should have fought fire. the boss fight first. Alright. So we got this guy who's reducing mana. This guy who's... Oh, that's really annoying. So this guy's gotta die. This way. Don't be upset. Yep. I'm in more pain than you. And this guy will die right here, so that's the end of the battle. It's almost like I know what I'm doing. Alright. Well, it's one of my dodges, but it's okay. We are fine. We have max cards. We have 15% dodge. We got a key from that, so we can open this chest and we're ready for the boss. Purifiers are always good. Oh, regeneration? Okay, I'll do some regeneration. I don't know what boss is going to be in here, but it's unlikely to, to you need double fish eggs. Take the regeneration. Alright, so now we get to face a boss for this dungeon. I will burn your souls. This guy is um, not very good against me. Although if this lines up with a turn where I'm renewing, then that can be problematic. But all in all not too dangerous for me. So he's doing literally zero damage this turn, so I'm just going to slow play this. And, um... What is he? Soul Catcher? I guess he's not any type, so... None of these should help. Uh, do, 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 do. Okay, let's we'll see what happens. Gain shield. Increase player's max mana till end of battle. I say this guy screws around too much. I'm gonna give myself a shield too. So now I have a shield for that attack. I will renew my Rounds. He's already burning, so liquid fire is superior. Uh, sure. I 
gotta keep on doing shield and sacrifice. Get the mana back from. All right, so we will shield. And we will burn. Get this damage down, I guess it doesn't matter. Sacrifice. Oh, he dodged a little bit of that. Yeah. Just keep on rinse and repeat cycling. All right, let's get this back again. Get our champion pauldron, get our purifier. We're doing good. What do we got going on here? So he is attacking again. So we will shield. Sacrifice. Wow. That was some really nice dodging by him. Okay, he's going to do 70 damage here. Seems problematic. Hmm. Really have anything I can do about it either. Gotta use this. I don't know. If he's a ghost, he keeps dodging me though. So I'm gonna take a good. I'm gonna die here actually. I have to be careful. So if I use this 30 and he hits me for 70 damage, then I am toast. Um. So let's see what we gotta do here. Not too much to help me either. Because I'm going to have the same issue next round. I don't have enough to actually strain. I think I'm dead. Oh, I had a shield up. That's helpful. Alright. I should be able to finish this guy off. Or I dodged it. One of the two. I'm still alive. Dodged it again. Clutch. Alright, so now I have to use all this stuff. I gotta get that shield back up. And then... Yeah, sure. And then... Yes. Alright, that should be it. He burns. Clutched it out. Okay. Let's see. Let's get all of our non... Let's get all those cards back. Open our chest. 45 gold. And a greater sacrifice is worse than a lesser sacrifice, actually. Pretty mediocre potion. Thanks for nothing, dude. Alright. So we've completed that dungeon. And... I want to hit up some of these higher resource nodes here. Oh, just lost those higher resource nodes, so I guess up north we go. Sure, we can dismantle some cards. For the gold. Um, it's about time to get rid of these cinder rings. Let's definitely time to get rid of this. Let's get rid of that. Alright. That he needs a new pair of scrolls. Give me some supremacy. Nope. I could get ash. Honestly, that's probably the best move here. I need more ash. Alright. 
We're gonna go back up here, farm these. The ambush, okay. We'll take a medium battle. It's not bad for us. Okay, we are going to burn. Got lots of burns going there. And I'm going to shield this. Hit. And we will go another round. Okay. Now we will burn these cards. I do not want to renew all my cards. Thank you for nothing. There we go. Renew all cards that cost zero mana for 30. Pass. Alright. So now we can get our mana, our health back. Boom. Max health. And renew our cards. Okay. Already mine that. Mine this. Mine this. Okay, so this is the first boss fight. So we get to spend all of our stuff for the boss fight, buys things, get some extra cards into play. So like this card is good, obviously. Another one of our healing cards, we're gonna buy that. And we can choose what we upgrade. So we have 12 total resources, 260 gold. 85 ash. So let's first let's get our cards in play. So we want these two scrolls in play for sure. Craft. Craft. Um, another purifier ain't bad. Um, I need more. Oh, get this remedial potion into play. Oh, it's a rare. Mm, probably not worth any quantity, not quality. I guess get these cinder rings into play. And this purifier. That's what we're going to do. Alright. And then we're going to figure out how we want to spend our... Oh. We gotta buy the chalice. Yep. That's the free discard card. Uh, you'll see how it works. Although I'm not sure if I can use uh, traits against bosses. All right, we got to figure out how we want to spend. So meditations, high prio. We do meditation, starter stats. Buy some dodge. So let's trade these two from uh, goblets to relics. Get meditation for our next round. That allows us to make cards. And then let's sell off everything we're not using. So we'll sell 50. Okay. Buy. Can't buy any potions. To bacterial bandage. Mm, burning compound 3. That's really good, but can't afford it. Alright. We're gonna rock this. 
And then we leave the camp to fight the boss. They say that even a beast can be afraid so, of a So, I have to be careful with these bosses. Two random cards from the player's hand to deck of axes. Takes double damage next turn. It's actually not bad for me. Alright, so this is the chalice. Discards itself, which means I get... Uh, automatically get 12 life and 5 damage a turn, which is awesome. Um, so a little sustain every turn, no matter what else is going on. I am going to discard this. Get that play. I'm going to burn him. And we're going to stop there. So automatically get 10 damage a turn and 16 or 12 life back. So he discarded my cards, which is not the end of the world. So it deals 15 damage, triple damage with no strike cards in their hand. So I can't lose all of my strike cards. Don't understand. Is this my strike card? Okay, so I need to hold on to my strike card. And I need to renew everything. So I'm gonna get my sacrifice, champion's pauldron, your fire back. Okay. And this is still doing 24. This is still doing 24. Okay, fine. Uh, might as well put a bleed on him. Why not? Okay. Let me get our 12 life back. Do two damage. Uh, I can. No, actually, I don't want to get rid of any of those. All right. Summons a giant wolf. Seems annoying. I do want to get rid of this, and I do want to reapply the burn. Go there. Burn has been reapplied. Two left. Um, I'm just going to write this out. Alright, so what is he doing? Increase strength of summon ally by 5 until end of battle. Well, that guy's not going to be around to appreciate that, so I can... Strain... No, can't strain until my left of sacrifice is gone. I can shield, and then I can, hmm, how to play this. Is it better to double cinder or lesser surface? He has that weird strike move, but I have a shield up, so I'm just gonna lesser surface. This is just a warm up. Ah, oh, he's dead. Okay. All right. Well, that was a little jig. I don't understand why it's in the dark. So, here's the next round of plot. So that's the first act. That act is where we are the most vulnerable. Um, this deck scales extremely well, so it will get stronger and stronger as we go on. But we got our meditate up, we got increased rest points, we got our chalice, sacrificial chalice. We're doing pretty good so far. Why me? Wouldn't the other outcast I see each of you went their own path. But don't lie to me, priest. We were all there. Life is not fair. Who knows? Be that as it may, I'm keeping my end departing at Departing at dawn. I think the devil is really bad for this deck. I can't remember. Anything that messes with your discard pile can be lethal to you. All this, like, out of nowhere. You can just get destroyed. Alright, this is actually really good. I need another one of these. Um... Okay. Need to get that in play right away. And then I actually kind of need some hit points. 
I'm just gonna straight up buy hit points right now. One of the things about um, starting on the hardest difficulty is your hit points are really, I mean, you guys can see like the spikes and peaks and valleys of my, um, my actual sustain. It's, it's pretty painful. So I'm get some hit points now. Just gonna see how long this video is if I need to stop it. We'll go a little bit longer. Um, push to 130. Nobody watches past minute five anyway, so no worries there. So let's see what we got going on this map. So now you notice we have a red tier. Um, that's the top tier for rewards slash damage. We have two dungeons. This one has four roads to it, which is pretty accessible. This one has three roads to it, and they're both pretty close to camp. Um, you can do heroic mode in dungeons, which is just as it sounds, more risk, more reward. Basically every fight in there is red. Um, so um, depending on what we get there, um, we might try we might try heroic mode dungeons. So what is our next goal? So in town, our next goal, we want to get this maxed. We need expand assortment to double the price that he has up. We basically want to max out our card draws. Um, is that like a Starbucks cup? Like, what is this? It looks like a Starbucks cup. Um, with like a skull on it. Um, pretty much done. We got the trait that we want. I don't... I mean, set of loft picks is nice. Um, but not necessary. We've been able to open every chest and we still have four keys left over. This this is this is not hugely important. Ultimate healing is really good for our sustain. Everything increases by 25%, so instead of getting 12 back around, we get 16 back around. That's really, really nice. Um, and then um, hit curling, healing crit effect is, is kind of nice too, but we just want improved stats and cheaper stats here. Not high priority. So I guess the next high priority is increasing rest points so we get more card draws is all that we need to. So we want resources there. We're going to need 12 resources total for that. And we can farm resources kind of out here in these nodes. So maybe we should head this way. The one thing about this game is that your deck resets um, which ETH with each map. So right now, nothing's in the graveyard. So I have to reconfigure my deck the way I want it. So I am going to have to like do a couple easier battles to get Ready everything to light my uh, back the way it belongs. Okay. Oh. Not too bad, we start with a lot of our healing in our hands, so we just gotta discard this healing to be good. Uh, I'll start blowing through these a little bit faster. It's more important to get your sustain up than it is to get your actual damage up. So you see, I'm, I'm already getting six around from sustain just from the sacrificial chalice. The rat's dead. Gotta concentrate on the satyr now. He's hitting not too bad. So I can lesser sacrifice this. This is more than appropriate to lesser sacrifice. And we got a lot of our stuff in there. So now I have two cards left. Um, I'm gonna bring back the lesser sacrifice. The pollens are working really nice. I actually am quite enjoying the pollens. I'll bring back one pure. And I'll bring back a liquid burn. But then now I have this new button, Meditate, so I can do that to re receive extra card draws. So, huge button. Um, my deck's pretty stacked right now, pretty well, so I'm actually going to go down to these... Um... So, a couple red nodes here. You get three resources from each of them. Um... Okay, I'll go do this red node path. It's not great, it's got a bunch of dead ends, but it's um, not horrible either. Here we go, here we go. What's he doing? 28 to lowest health hit, hit points. Well, I actually can get him below me, so I think I should. 
Uh, I'm gonna do this though. Just because it gets any funny ideas. Oh, I'm out of mana. That was a severe mistake. Um, well, I guess I'll block it, so it's not the end of the world. Could use my mana potion, but it's blocked anyways, it doesn't matter. Just 13 damage. Alright. Let's go. There we go. Starting to hit hard with those lesser sacrifices. Now I'm doing 15 damage every time I discard a card just from those cards there. So I am going to get back my jams. Hmm, he's going to hit me with that. That's okay. So I can still lesser sacrifice him. So if I lesser sacrifice, it's five heals. So... Um, one, two, oh, that'll be a lot of healing. I'm going to heal up this way. I think this is more efficient. And then just get the stuff back. This, 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 this. And then we will get another Lesser Sacrifice. Excellent. So now I can start cycling two groups of five Lesser Sacrifices. And I can Chalice before I Lesser Sacrifice. That's a huge deal. So that is a very nice card to have. Two resources there, very nice. Okay, so he is really not doing a very good attack. <laughs> doing a pretty pathetic attack, so we will just... Actually, I'm just going to like take it. Right? Spells all burns and all characters. Increase strength by two for each burn to spell. Well, that's annoying. Alright, well, you're no longer as cute. He's going to give himself a bunch of strength. So, we'll just kill him. Alright, so we actually do 15 damage a round due to special ch sacrificial chalice. So he's going to die even though he has no dispels on him. So I'm going to renew these. It's better to do it with the... And, and the, the mana to hit points exchange, I spend 30 hit points to protect against five mana points, or five rest points, if you will. The mana, hit point, rest, exchange. So I'll be able to... Um, I'll be able to um, exchange this more efficiently after the battle. So this is the correct move, in case you were wondering. You'll see. Um, let's play that, and then I'll get 15 hit points back, and he'll die. Just from the Sacrificial Chalice. So you see, the Sacrificial Chalice as a trait adds so much um, uh, sustain. The Cinder Ring's not great. Um, I do need to get back. Oh, you know what? I'm going to greed out. I'm going to do two card draws here. Pure fire. Not bad. Not great either. Okay. Don't mind that. Mind this. Getting lots of. No more good stuff suffering here. for All you. Right. Level Aren't five you lucky? seamate. Alright, this is the time for the hook. No shields. Now, what's the approach? So, cure fire. Can do 20 damage against me. I'm gonna burn. And then I'm going to gain a shield. I'm gonna sit tight. Right. So now, 22 damage again. And I can lesser sacrifice this. Don't be upset. I'm in Got the eggs. You. Got her down quite a bit. She'll do 20 damage. That's fine. Um, actually, she's hitting pretty hard. I'm going to have to lesser sacrifice again in this fight. Uh, I can heal lesser sacrifice it at the end if I need to. So 
So this is a level 3 fight, so it is a more difficult fight. So at this point, I'm missing 58 hit points. So that's all my rest points. So it's better to lesser sacrifice and get my rest points back than it is... Can I greed out and get this with Cinder Ring? That'd be 15. Nah, I, got, I just got lesser sacrifice for the hit points. Get myself back to full. That's important. So, do this. Really enjoying this Champion's Pauldron. I usually don't um, use one, but it's really turning out nice. Power of the Burn. That is useless. Alright, what do we got going on here? We got ignition, no, no, oh, scroll of incineration, gotta go there. Three away. One, two, three, I gotta, gotta go there right away. This is just ash, okay, let's go. Well, you know, I got a three there anyway, so not horrible. Now what am I at? I am at more than 12. Um, so I'm going to make my way back to camp. So hot right now. Too hot for you. Use a random ash card. That is annoying. So yeah, he removed one of my healing cards. Alright, but now I can hit him pretty darn hard. Strength by one for every three cards in the player's deck of ash. This should be lethal, yeah, I was about to say. Okay, let's get a lesser sacrifice. Okay, acceptable. Hmm, Cinder. Definitely need that. Burn. Okay. Need to get back to the camp. These chests are actually good for me. So I will open this. Lesser sacrifice. Okay. Got enough lesser sacrifices now for sure. Okay. Let's see what we got here. Say that even a beast can be afraid of a wow. 75 damage. That is pretty... That's pretty high. 2 damage bleed. Alright, so I have this. I have... It's this. Why not? Okay, he'll die in 2 turns from the bleed. Take that. And then I can strain here. Get my jam back. This will be way more smooth when I have two lesser sacrifices in the mix. Fire. I think I should also upgrade my liquid fire. Get additional burning stacks on. <laughs> this is just a warm up. Okay, so cindering. You, I can discard this because I don't need much of anything. Okay, so I don't need to renew that. Do this, spark. Do I greet out? I think I will do one seventy. No, there. No reason to risk it. Okay, so he didn't knock out my dungeons, right? Actually knocked out the south where I've already been, so that's optimum. Alright. Ash Storm. Do we have any of our boys in these? No. No. That's okay. Um, we can go get that after we do all this. Alright, so... The rest points is the prio so rest points two and three um, will increase our draws essentially after battles so we're gonna do that so we're gonna get all of our stuff in goblets um, do I have any more? yeah I do and then herbs need 
five of these. So now, do that, and do this. So now we have extra rest points after each battle. That means more card conversions. That means we can actually um, get uh, more, uh, more card draws. Speaking of which, we got a few good cards. Let's activate them. Let's get our scroll of incineration going. Let's get our lesser sacrifices going. And then I what is the upgrade for burn? Eh. So Hmm. I'd rather just get the increased dot. Okay. Alright. And we can buy another hit point. So, good to go there. Uh, just about ready for the dungeon. We gotta go get this. Scroll Supremacy. And then we'll probably sweep these resources and then we'll hit up these dungeons. Alright. So, legit have a lot of burn power. So I can do this. And this. And I'm out of mana. Come. So annoying. Bring my stuff back in. Alright, so. I gotta start rotating these lesser sacrifices. I think it's still this is still the right move because so I'm going to do this and I'll get one or two lesser sacrifices after the battle and this should pretty much KO them Don't be upset. I'm in more and max out my you. health okay so now I have all these rest points to work with so I'm going to get some lesser sacrifices back. So I have 8 cards. I want 10 cards to cycle through lesser sacrifices. So I'm going to take one purifier, one more lesser sacrifice. Now I have 3 draws. Alright. So let's see. So the goal is to be able to play two Lesser Sacrifices around, essentially. Which I'll show you the balance for that. These chests are actually good for me. Because they have these, which are common. All these scrolls are common. You can line up trying to get to a human battle there. So here's here's how we want this to work. We want to be able to lesser sacrifice this turn to kill everything. And then cycle lesser sacrifice next turn. Alright, so we are going to what would we have in our deck? We have two lesser sacrifices, champion Paul and look at fire. So we're gonna want one of these. Scroll of Energy is great. More of that. Scroll of Purification, also great. More of that. Chain Reaction, and then let's get two more Lesser Sacrifices. Okay. So every time I discard a card, 
does 20 damage and heals me for 5 times 3, 15. 20 damage, 15. Plus, this is already hitting for a lot. So we can just start KOing these guys in one shot. Alright, so I'm going to do straight up two of these. And then I only have one card. I have a purifier in my deck, so I need one. Two, three. I'm going to take three. Reduced Ashes is also really good for me. Alright, what do we got? Nothing particularly interesting. Gold. Um, pretty useless. Strength potion, fine. All right, let's go. Do I go to camp first? I got a lot of good stuff. I'm gonna go camp first. I'm gonna do these both heroic dungeons. I only have three mana, but you know what? Oh man, and this costs more mana. That's annoying. Okay. Now I have five mana again. So now I can Ash Pact to get lesser sacrifices and everything back now take 30 hits but 15 times 6 means I get it all back Don't be upset. so I'm set up for my next fight pain than you. and I already have everything I need there so I can rest 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 nothing but you get the build idea. Okay. Ash writes. I don't need anything ashed. Alright, I have to get into my dungeons now. Oh, okay. He didn't break them. Alright, so my goal of being here is twofold. One, activate all the stuff that I just got. Two, I need him to expand his assortment, so I need to get this all transferred to chalices. So, I have one chalice. I'm going ore to goblets. Okay, let's go. Perfect. Thank you. So rare assortment, which stinks, but expanding assortment doubles his amount of stuff. So now instantly we have way more selection. And yeah, scroll supremacy is not great, but we'll take it. And then we are going to activate our boys here. So we got two more scrolls of energy. I do have enough to activate a scroll of supremacy. Or oh, I should take a reduced ashes. Reduced ashes is huge, you'll see why. Okay. Now we are ready for heroic dungeons. And so actually spend my gold. Again, we'll do upgrades, stat items. Um Let's get our dodge chance up a little bit more. And so on the next episode, we will go into the dungeons in heroic mode and see what we can do um, with uh, max dungeon levels and get as many resources as we can. So if you're still here at the end of the video, thanks for watching. And I hope you appreciate uh, the complexity between the discard slash graveyard dance 
in uh, Deck of Ashes, aptly named because you are constantly burning or re recycling your things. Um, with some of the RPG elements, exploration items, potions, so on and so forth. But uh, very, very inspired by Slate Aspire. Um, enjoying this run, so we will finish it off maybe in the next video, or at least a video and a half. Um, we're halfway through the second world, and the, the fourth world is just kind of a uh, extra. So. Um, hopefully uh, we will finish this off uh, strong. So thanks for watching guys and have a great day.